Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a book wrap up video. I am no longer doing monthly book wrap up videos just because my schedule has changed and it kind of means a little bit less books to share with you guys. Some of the books I actually own and I have and any other book that I do not have, I actually borrowed or listened to the audiobook through this app called Libby and it connects to my local library so it's really nice. <laughs> it comes in handy. For the month of January, the first book that I listened to was Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And if you want to hear more of my reviews and thoughts about that book, you can go and hear it in my Ultimate Harry Potter Review <laughs> video. Um, you can hear about all my thoughts about the Harry Potter books in, in that video. Um, and then the second book I listened to was the Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Um, again, check out the video. <laughs> and then the third book I read in January, um, this one I read and listened to, it was Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Um, I love this book so much. So, um, yeah, this was fun since I actually had the book. Um, I actually thrifted this, so I, I love I love that story. Um, if you guys want to hear more about my thoughts of that one, again, you can go check it out in my Ultimate Harry Potter review video. Um, then I listened to Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch. I loved this book. There was mystery, there was drama, there was romance. Um, I could honestly see it being a movie. <laughs> um, I've mentioned this a couple times, but I'm really picky on what romance books I like and what romance movies I like, and I was surprised I actually liked this book. So I decided to listen to her other book, which is called Love and Olives. And, um, this one had a lot more meat to it, which I liked, um, but it wouldn't be my favorite, but it was still enjoyable to listen to. Now for the month of February, I read Yes, No, Maybe So. Um, I don't have this book anymore. <laughs> I um, donated it to, well, I actually traded it at one of my local bookstores. Um, there's a used bookstore you go to and they can trade, you can trade books, which is pretty nice. Um, I didn't really enjoy the book, hence why I traded it, but, um, yeah, it wasn't my favorite. It's a romance book, but it just, it wasn't my favorite. Um, next I read Let It Snow, um, another romance book, and Hank Green is one of the authors, and, uh, man, it's also another romance book I didn't really like. Um, it's, I'm really picky with what ones I like. Um, so I did trade that one. Do I still have that? Oh, wait, no. I still have it. <laughs> so I'm going to be trading or donating this one. I'm not really sure yet. Um... And then the next book I listened to was Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Um, that one was fun to listen to. Um, it was all in Newt Scam Scamander's um, narration. Um, it sounded like a book that you would read at Hogwarts for school. So I enjoyed listening to it. Next book I read was Star Wars Queen's per Peril. Queen's Peril. Um, it's written by uh, E.K. Johnston, and she also wrote um, Star Wars Queen's Shadow, and talks about um, Padme Amidala. Padme Amidala is one of my favorite Star Wars characters, so I enjoyed reading more about her. Um, I think I talked about Queen's Shadow in the previous um, book wrap-up video, but um, Queen's Peril is about um, right when she becomes queen and what the first few months and year was like for her. 
So it does mention little Anakin in here, so it's pretty cool. Is that a spoiler? Sorry. Um, battery's about to die, let me replace it. The next book I read is by Laura Taylor Namey. And this is A Cuban Girl's Guide to Tea and Tomorrow. And I do plan on doing a book review on this in the future. I'm probably going to wait till the fall just because it's like a cozy fall read. It is a romance book, um, but I really liked it. There's a lot more meat to it. I, I think I like the type of romance books I like. I think I like ones that make you feel a lot of emotions, that have a lot of meat to it, and that there's more than just romance to it. So if there's like mystery or if there's family dynamics going on, I like reading about that. So I think those are the type of romance books I like. But this was a great book. I really loved it. And um, I'll share more about my thoughts about it in August when I do a book review. Um, just because I feel like this is more like a fall type. Um, book. So, anyways, moving on. Now, the next book is part of a series, and <laughs> this may surprise a few people, but I have never read the entire series of The Chronicles of Narnia. I've read The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, I've read The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, and that was it. Um, those are the books that have their like, individual um, Like, it looks like this. It's a little small little book. Um, but those are the only two books I have of individual from Narnia. But I have this huge edition of the entire set of the Chronicles of Narnia. So I thought, well, let's take some time to read about Narnia. <laughs> so I read The Magician's Nephew, which is the first book. And, um... I honestly liked it. It's definitely bizarre, <laughs> but um, I genuinely liked it. Um, I'll be rereading um, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe soon, but um, for that's the only book I've read of the series of reading them in order right now. But <laughs> um, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a good. I thought it was a good read. Um, so I'll keep you updated as I continue along in this journey of reading Narnia. This battery is about to die again. I'm going to see how fast I can finish this. Um, the next book that... Okay. The next two books that I finished were Ahsoka, which is another E.K. Johnston book. I think she's my favorite um, Star Wars author. But this is such a great read. I loved it so much. And then the next book which I'll be talking more about next week in a special video for you guys. It's called Be Heard, The Definitive Guide to Podcasting by Devin B. Cleffer. Um, I'll share more about my thoughts about this next week in a very special video. But those were the books that I read from January to March. My love of books is not slowing down, so I'll definitely have more book wrap-ups and book reviews in the future for you guys. And, um, I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna end the video here because this battery is about to die. Um, but thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>